We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles baseball is next. Alex Cobb is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough in this one. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, oh, one and oh. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, d -Row, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Severino. And the throw is in time. Gardner is retired, and there's one away. Standing in, Gio Urshela, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Outside with the fastball that's 1 0. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, D Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know, coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. One out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now here's the pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Here's big Aaron Judge as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. Two out nobody on. Not close it's two and oh. Now here's the pitch. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Into center field, line drive base hit. So that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here. That was cool. the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June.
first pitch on its way. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Well, and low, it's a ball and a strike. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. And out of here, and I mean by plenty, that ball was crushed. Two run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. Number 21 for him on the season. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. And they take the lead. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Now the 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Pitch on the way. Two ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And it's out of here. Back to back. Two out home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 17 for him on the season as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. So stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. Man, this guy's been in fuego lately. A boatload of homers over his last 10 games. Yeah, usually, Dan, guys get hot throughout the course of the season, but not like this. Hot and hot with damage. A ball of no strikes. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Three runs already home here. Eight. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now pitch on the way. Nope, inside, ball two. Ball three. Three and two now. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Iglesias is there. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Yankees lead it three to nothing.
Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Leading off. Striding in, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Matty, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot, top of the first throw, three spot up on the board. They got the opposition on their heels. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2 1 pitch. I got 3 1. 3 ball. One Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The three one. Hey, hey it looks down. like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Into the box, Ramon Urias. He comes in with a six game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0 1. 0 1 is the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Judge. He makes the running play. Two down. Batting third. The right field. So here's Trey Mancini. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. Here's the first pitch to him. Off the plate, ball one. Two and oh. Now the two oh home. Is looked at for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. That gets down and the inning will continue. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And here's Renato Nunez. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1 0. Runner in scoring position with two gone. One-oh count. Here it is. 
down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The one two is laid right, off for ball two. two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Now to the plate, Mike Talkman. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch coming, here it is. And he fouls this one off. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly yep. broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Here he comes again, 1-2. And, oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there, one away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, this calling balls favorite. and strikes is a really yeah. tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll check in with an average still south of 230. Five homers and 25 driven in. Yeah. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. One out, nobody on. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Racing back the left fielder, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Sixth home run on the season for him. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. At the plate, Luke Voigt. The first baseman. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Enters play here at 279. 15 long balls and 38 runs batted in. Pitch on the way. Knuckle curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and one. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. 
Now the payoff pitch home. Sliced hard on the ground. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. How Hitting bad? streak now up to eight field. games. Yeah, no doubt right. about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Gardner brings in a batting average resting just under 320. And the look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Bring in Giovanni Urshela. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. This one's down to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. And we take a look at the line right here, and it's not pretty. He's given up seven hits, and we're only in the second inning. So what if three things is going to happen? He's either going to buckle down and start hitting his spots. He's going to continue to get shelled. Our game is going to last about five hours. Or he's going to get the hook early and head for the showers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Nope. Fastball well outside. One ball, one strike. hit hard on the ground a second and that's through into right field for a base hit one run is scored and the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to six nothing now you know who's the happiest man in the building right now his starting pitcher he's got a big old smile on his face he knows he has a six run lead here in the early going to work with you can't let that take away your edge though here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he has signaled to the bullpen that's going to be all for his starter Alex Cobb. So as he leaves I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Hector Velasquez enters from the pen in just the second inning so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Gary Sanchez. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. From the stretch. Ball one. Ball one. Sanchez brings a ton of pop to the plate with him particularly against right handed pitching some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah this guy just absolutely hammers right handed pitching. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third it's seven nothing. Boy this guy's having a great game here so far D. Rowe. Home run earlier in the night and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's wind up and that's exactly been the case today. 
He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Standing in now, Torres. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. The 1-0. Two balls, no strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two balls and a strike. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Now the 2 1 pitch. Four runs here in this half inning. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Giancarlo Stanton will be the ninth man to bat in the inning, barring a double play, waits on deck. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough out pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 0 1 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chasing after it is Santander. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Nine men come to the plate, four score. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Yankees lead this one seven to nothing. Last half of the second set to go. And set to go is the third baseman, Hanser Alberto. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Voigt is over and he puts it away for the first down. Batting six. No left fielder. Anthony. Dan Tender. Digging in the switch hitter, Anthony Santander. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And this is taken outside for ball one. Liner towards second. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Last pitch was a fastball tries to double up with the same piece of cheese and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. Hey. Settling in now Austin Hayes first shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, the pitch. <laughs> Santander, a runner at first with one gun in the inning.
hit hard on the ground towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic the hitting the base pass first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. In there, and it's 0-1. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Two home runs and 14 driven in. Comes set and the 0 1. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. LeMayhew for one. On to Voigt, an inning ending double play. Orioles leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off with the Yankees. Digging in for his the second at bat, Mike Talkman. He got called Talk. out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AB. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this now thing bad. left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled. It's strike one. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Fouled away. A runner at second, nobody out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Luke Voigt lays off 1 0. A base hit in his first trip. Well, that missed close. It's ball two. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. From the belt, the pitch. Ball in. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with.
Here it is, the 3 0. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The center field, number 11, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Hot shot to third. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one, and they hold a 7 0 lead. Bottom of the third now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Chris first Davis. Baseman, Chris Davis. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And now a pitch on the way. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Fastball just inside. Now the three and two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Hit back toward the mound. Torres picks it up. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught as that'll be an infield single. Boy, after that base knock right there, D Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. Two gone. Now that right fielder, Trey Mancini. So two men are gone now in the Baltimore third, and that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. A runner on first with two away. Fouled off. The one two. Chopper to short. Knee high, he barehands it. What an outstanding play to end the inning. One left for the Orioles. They're down by a touchdown, seven nothing. with the plate Gio Urshela and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan they have Matt I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit we'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Here it comes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Hit on the ground to short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. He's set. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Seven runs, ten hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Sinker, one ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Smoked on the ground up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Boy, not a bad way to end the month. He gets his third hit of this game, and I'm not so sure, Mark, he's going to look forward to the calendar flipping to the next month. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Dan, you get three knocks the last day of the month, you're feeling frisky heading into the next 30 days.
So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. Throw won't get him. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten now their back. hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting rocked. Whoa, and now Torres, 1-0 and oh the count. Runners are at first and third, one away. On the ground now for Iglesias. This could be two. There's one. On to Davis for a side retiring. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. The 1-0. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left, number 13 for him on the year, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. Line to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Anthony. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. <laughs> two and zero oh to the Baltimore left fielder. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. The 2 0 on the way is in there for strike one. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. And it's two balls and two strikes two now. Two strikes. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. One run six hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. A oh, double play ball to second four six three and they turn the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure.
So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Austin Hayes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Lays one off the ball, slider and it's one and one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Pitch taken several inches Two below one. the zone, in fact. Two out, nobody on. Scorch to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage. You think you're getting a heater. He throws an off-speed pitch, and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Down and away, ball one. Two out with the man at first. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. Boom goes the dynamite. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Third home run for him on the year as it's now a 7-3 game. Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. Chris Davis is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Davis waits on the one one. He stays alive, still two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Popped up, Urshela. Over to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We played four full. It's the Yankees seven and the Orioles three. Richard Blyer will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Number 48, Richard Blyer. Carlos Stanton now. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Leading off to the Yankees. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Left side of the infield into the shift. Right to Iglesias. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. 
So with seven runs allowed already, it's been another dismal outing from this pitching staff as you take a look there at the list of clubs with the highest team ERA. And that's a sight you don't want to see dead last in the AL in that category. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman, a hit and two tries for him so far. From the stretch, pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One out nobody on. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2 two -two. doesn't get the zone count full now. Count still full three and two. Hit on the ground out to short. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now batting the second baseman, DJ LeMay. In now, DJ LeMayhew. Lifetime versus this arm. He's just one for six. First pitch of the at bat. That's a good pitch to lay off right there at that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The 1 0. That's ball two. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Ah, and he swings right through it there, 2 and 1. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. All even now, two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they lead it by four. It's seven to three. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Iglesias and Dan I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that Matt. that was a really rocky frame but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. And this is taken. It's a ball and a strike now to the Baltimore shortstop. Ball 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count is two and one. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But no problem at first, and that's the first now out. The second baseman, Romo. Yes. Ready now for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Now a curveball misses inside. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him two down. The right fielder, number 16, Trey Mancini. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Heading after it is Judge, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So some life with two away as he's into second with the opposite field double. And as you can see there on the graphic, he currently sits fourth on the Orioles in that category. Now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Renato Nunez. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. Two out here and a runner at second. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Stepping in now, Hanser Alberto, as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is on his horse. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Orioles strand a couple. 
deficit holds it four. It's seven to three. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And here comes the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. Now here it comes. Hey. Hit to short. Iglesias is there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and one pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Slider laid off for a ball. Gio Urshela waits on deck. Here it is on three and one. There's ball four. Now batting. The third baseman. Gio now batting. Gio Urshela. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1-0. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. And that misses ball one. Count one and oh. Hit on the ground to third. Throw gets him at first. And even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Ben Heller will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Ben so striding forward now Anthony Santander he'll do battle with a new arm out there in their half of the sixth this one doesn't look good so far down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings it's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's one and one. At 
Fastball just inside. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gardner going back. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And it's now a 7-4 ball game. Austin Hayes the next to bat. The center fielder. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. The 1 0. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. At the plate, Pedro Severino, one for two in the ballgame thus far. In the last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. No balls in one strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled away. The next 0 2. One ball. Keller has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that especially with two strikes not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Here's Chris Davis now as he'll take a look at ball one. Oh for two for him to this point. Guide in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, shortstop, Iglesias. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jose Iglesias. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it. And that retires the side. Orioles draw closer on the home run. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's the Yankees seven and the O's four. 
Wade LeBlanc will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 23, Wade LeBlanc. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in is the big time power threat, Gary Sanchez. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Now the 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. LeBlanc, the former Seattle Mariner, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. The back Torres will stand the in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. the pitch Ball one. lifted into the air out towards center field Hayes is there now and he has it two gone now batting designated hitter Giancarlo Stanton. Striding forward now is the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 0 oh 1. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. The count is two and one. Two out, nobody on. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They hold a 7-4 lead. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the second baseman, Ramon Urias. Second baseman, Ramon Urias. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at bat.
Mm, got him out of his front foot. It's 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Striding in once again, Trey Mancini. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. At the plate, Renato Nunez. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. So far, two for three in this one. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch hit on the ground is short and that's the second out now that the third baseman Hunter Alberto at the plate Hunter Alberto and he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on deck circle. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes ball one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead it seven to five. Sean Armstrong has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 43, Sean Armstrong. Stepping up now, Mike Talkman. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Here comes the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. The pitch. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. I really like watching righties throw that cutter in on lefties' hands like that. This one was down two, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good chance he's going to pound it into the ground. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. 
That's Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Two strikes. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That yeah, elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, D.J. LeMay here as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Bases are empty. One man out. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he oh, crashes headlong into the, the wall. Luke Voigt. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're still up seven to five. Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Into the box now, Anthony Santander. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's set and the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs. A ball and a strike. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Pitch on the way. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Gardner going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batting the center fielder, Austin Hayes. In now for the O's, Austin Hayes. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball, that's outside. One out, nobody on.
There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left. And it's now a one run game, seven to six now. as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. A bouncer up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Well, this is where the manager makes his money right there. Nice at bat. Now it's a question of whether or not he pinch runs. Dan, as a pitcher, did it make you a little nervous when a guy had jets on the base pass? Oh, no doubt about it. This is a, this is a very difficult spot. You're one hit away from getting right back into this game and tying this game up. You're going to have to really think about putting somebody on first that might be able to score in a ball in a gap. Trying to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Oh. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Four home runs and eight runs batted in. That evens it up one and one. One out, one on in a one run game. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 3-2 pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one one.
Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. Orioles draw closer on the home run. Ninth inning straight ahead. It's now a 7-6 ball game. Tanner Scott enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Rio Ruiz is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Number 14, Rio Ruiz. Striding into the box, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken oh for a cold strike. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Scott has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Brett Gardner becomes the first out in the ninth inning. Into the box, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And there are two away now. The right field, number 99. Aaron Judd. Now in the box, Aaron Judge. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First pitch on its way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. High in the air out towards shallow right. Mancini is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They'll try and hold him in the field now. It's seven to six. Your attention, please. So with the safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left hander, Aroldis Chapman. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Ramon Urias. The second baseman, Ramon Urias. He's set. Here it comes. Chapman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season with an ERA under two. Lucky to get anything off of him. Here it comes, 1-0. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Cold yeah. strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. It's fouled away. Oh. 
fouled off. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth right as we take a look at league 16. saves leaders entering play. And as you can see, he's up near the top, currently sixth in the AL in that category. Digging in now, Trey Mancini. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. First pitch of the at bat. The 1 0 home. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes now. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high. Nasty diving out of the zone. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. From the stretch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. And he fouls this one off. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Baltimore down to their final strike. Still two and two. Foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he holds on, and the ball game is over. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the month with a bang just the way you want to. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Yanks posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Jordan Montgomery earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Alex Cobb was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his 20th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.